Hi guys, happy Saturday. Yeah, happy Saturday the 22nd of May. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. Are you peeking in the background there? Yeah. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. So we missed, we didn't do last weekend as a vlog. I was working too much. Um, so we are now back on weekend vlogging again. So we had one week off. Where are we going, Harry? Yeah, so we are using our Merlin annual passes for the first time and heading to the Discovery Centre um, in Manchester at the Trafford Centre, going to Legoland and Sea Life Centre. So I have not been to Legoland for many years, many, many, many years, and I've never been to the Sea Life Centre, so really, really, really looking forward to it. Um, we've got Harry with us yeah. and David's with us. Missy and Emily, she's not well today, so she's not coming with us. Um, just dropping a present off at my brother's and then yeah take you along to the discovery center not sure how the vlog's going to go i might just give you a few um, sneak peeks of it and then do a separate vlog for the discovery and the sea life center so we'll catch you there in a bit hey dude Hi. awesome he's so big oh, look at this guy look at this wow look at this wow that's cool We have just finished at the Sea Life Centre, that was really cool, it's quite a small little place but the exhibits are awesome. Um, I'm really impressed they still have the um, touchy-feely ones, which is quite nice. I was really surprised to see them there. Um, I thought they'd just completely have been gone. I'm just going to go and get a drink, making up a decision. Starbucks or Krispy Kreme? So the decision was made for Krispy Kreme. Let's go see what donuts we can have. Yeah. All of them. All of them? Should we get, should we get a dozen? Yeah, a dozen donuts. A dozen donuts sounds good to me. How cool is that? Lotus Biscoff and an Americano. And he's got a, what have you got? A strawberry sprinkle? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Can't tell if I'm recording or not. Cheers. Is that good? It's gone already. I think we should have got a dozen rather than six. Somebody's not happy. I am. You happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. a good day. Yeah, I don't think that truck driver a very good day. Oh, I thought this was like cream in it. Oh, this tiny, tiny portion of cream like squished in here. the Trafford Centre and the Sea Life Centre. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. 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 It was really good. I mean obviously they're really small. They're just they're obviously called Discovery Centres for a reason. And the Sea Life Centre was really, really cool. The exhibits are lovely. Legoland is looking a little bit tired. It's been there for quite a while, so it's it's got to have been there for about ten years or so. Probably. Um, well, that's probably since the last time I went. The rides are still quite a few other thing attractions are still the same. Um, yeah, I think tired is the right word for it. I think it needs a little bit of a, a refurb. 
Um, but yeah, it, it's a good fun day out and obviously we've got the million passes. Whether I'd pay to get in separately, I don't know the price of how much it costs to get in as an individual um, without passes or without um, vouchers or anything like that. I'm not quite sure how much it costs. But we've had a, oh my goodness me. We've had a lovely day out today. Um, heading home, I think we're gonna order takeaway. I'm feeling really tired. Finished, um, I think a few um, yeses and high fives in the background here. I finished nights this morning and I've had four hours sleep and I'm so tired. I'm gonna go and get a bottle of wine. What takeaway are we having? Pizza? Or oh, pizza. pizza. I don't know Emilio's. Um, I don't know, probably Domino's. Because like Nice glass of wine, nice bit of pizza, a bit of a chill watching telly. I've not done that all week working. And then early night for me, I think, because I am super tired. I'm gonna have, and let, I'm gonna. Everything's I'm awesome. Gonna be Everything's awesome round here. Everything's awesome. And Harry's wearing his crispy crumb hat again. Yeah, it's very good. It's like I'm in the army. It's like I'm in the army now. Well, flashback. Right, I will catch you in a bit at home. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, run day. It's. About half nine in the morning. I've already done nine miles. Another two to go, then I'll be home. Oh, can't wait for some porridge and a coffee. Oh, nice weather for a run. Sorry, a little bit out of puff. Just been singing, dancing, and running at the same time. To sing, don't you know I'm still standing? I think I must look like an absolute idiot. Do you know what? I don't care. Had fun doing it. Why not? If I can still smile at nine miles, then it's worth doing. Get on with this other two and I'll see you guys at home. Hello, so we are in the car now. I've got dressed, had my porridge, which was yummy. Um, feel good, 11 miles done, which is great before the rain started. Um, just in the car heading out back to the Trafford Centre again. Harry just wants to show you what he made yesterday at the Trafford Centre. So this is what he got given at Lego Discovery Centre. It's part of the Dots, oh there we go, D Dots collection. It's got lots of different emojis on it and stuff. Yeah. So we got given that just for free. Yeah. Which was really nice of them. Um, so we are heading to the Virgin shop today to sort out the holiday. Not sure how that's going to go. Um, I have been looking online at different prices for different parts of the year, etc. It's certainly not as cheap as it was this year, that's for sure. Um, we'll just have to see what they say and what options they present us and go from there, really. But also, for something really exciting, we have been planning our UK road trip, which would be good. So instead of going to America, we are going to be using our Merlin passes and doing lots of tours around the UK. Yeah. yeah. Thorpe Park, Chessington, Legoland, whoa, and I guess where, where else are we going, Harry, in our UK tour? Where's the one place that we just told you about? Centre Parks. Centre Parks. We have also booked Longleat Centre Park, so that was our backup option. Yeah. Um, we could have um, cancelled it up to about two week, in two weeks' time, so obviously we've decided to go with that option, and we're excited about it, aren't yeah. we? So yeah, Centre Park's for the second leg of the trip. And then going into London for the last part, the last weekend. Oh my God, it hurts my arm. Uh, so the last weekend, Ooh, his dad's driving. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. But obviously we'll do a full trip plan review and tell you what we're doing um, when things are a little bit more finalized. Yeah. Lots of hotels being booked. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Let's go pick up Crazy Grandad and fingers crossed for Virgin. Yay. There it is, the Virgin Holiday Store. Our apartment's in half an hour, so we're going to see if they'll let us in now, or we have to come back in half an hour, see how busy it is. Oh, I thought you were going to let us sing Greg's. So no, that was me. afraid not. It's Virgin. Just heading for Sunday lunch. I'll fill you guys in on what happened with Virgin when we get home. I'm just going to a local pub. We managed to get a reservation. It's the first pub since we're out of lockdown. Excited. So I'll take you with us, show you what I eat, what we eat, 
get my mask on, I'll take you inside. We've just got back from the pub. Dinner was lovely. I had that lamb roast dinner. Um, David had chicken, bourbon, bourbon chicken, I think. It was like barbecue chicken. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I had the fish fingers. Yep, they were very nice. Very nice. And a ice cream sundae. Harry's the only person that had pudding now. Me. So obviously it came included with the kids' dinner. So, last week we won a competition. Oh yeah. Yeah, we won a competition with Aussie Robbo and English Gen. It's really, really cool and exciting. I can't believe we won. We don't normally win a lot. And yeah, it's some awesome, awesome, awesome prizes. So thank you guys. Um, if you don't already, go and check out our channel. We'll leave a, a link in the description down below. But let's show you the prizes. It's so exciting. Harry is wanting these prizes so much. <laughs> So this is the box and I can't actually get the stuff back in the box, there's that much of it. But I'm going to show you bit by bit what we got. So first of all, come on Harry, Sandy, do a show and tell, what did we get? I got a First of all we got stitch. cute baby kind of stitch. I've seen it. I've seen that stitch before, I think in a Disney shop as well. In a little hanger. So we've all got a stitch now, we've got three stitches in the family, yeah. all slightly different. What have we got next? It's very We've cool. We've got a very cute Min Minnie Mouse limited edition, sort of the main attraction. It's got the castle on and all the fireworks. It and she's cool. lovely. So hello, Minnie. Yeah, so she is fabulous. Then we got two Numios. I might not be uh, saying that right, but we we've got... Winnie and the Pooh with like a suit. got Winnie the Pooh. With, and he's got a little outfit to go with it. So that's very cute. And there's Minnie Mouse. So I think we need to go and get her an outfit. Absolutely. And uh, what else have we got? A we have got a Hidden Mickey's book. Now we absolutely love the Hidden Mickey's um, in Walt Disney World. And this is the 2020 edition. It includes Star Wars Land. So that is going to be awesome. So, I can't wait to take that. So do they show it? Do they Tell you where all the hidden Mickeys are. They do tell you where all the hidden Mickeys it must are. Must be a lot. Sorry, I'm having to swap hands because it's this camera. Mm. I need to get used to it. The new camera morph and the new yeah, it's really really heavy. I need to do some more workout. Then what else have we got? Disney face mask. Got some more Disney face masks, which mm. are cool. Another box, packet of them. They're really cool. I think we should put them on the floor. It's going They're stack all up. on my knee right now. Mm. What else have we got? Ugh. I'm going to hold my this. arm up. And we've got um, the unofficial Disney Park cookbook. I cannot wait to, to do this one. I can't wait to do some of the recipes in there. It's got a LeFou's brew. It's got a cinnamon roll. It's got churros. It's quite heavy as well. It's really quite heavy. Sorry. Um, yeah, so it's got lots of exciting things in there. And I can't wait to put that. I think you put that back in the box. It won't fit on mini. Yeah. And last. And last. But and by my no favorite. means least. And Harry's absolute favourite is <gasps> it's a Funko Pop Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. Harry absolutely loves the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. This is the, literally the perfect, perfect gift for Harry, isn't it? Yes. He is so excited about that one. It's like an early birthday present. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. going back on the shelf. <laughs> is it going on the shelf? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Vote down below. Should Harry have it or should it go on my shelf? Who knows? You decide. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, my arm's aching. Right. I'm going to put all this lot away and then I'm going to fill you in on what happened at the traffic centre with Virgin. So as you'll have seen, we went to see Virgin Holidays at the Trafford Centre because we are supposed to be going away in August 2020 to Orlando and Sunnybell and Fort Myers 
made a week's booked in Sunnybell in a villa which we have cancelled and then we had a week in the Sheraton in Orlando. So that was our holiday plans, flying out with Virgin to Orlando. Obviously, current climate and all, we decided to make that decision this week to cancel the holiday and to rebook it. Obviously, because if the dates were going out, the flights aren't currently cancelled, so it doesn't fall under any of the COVID policies just yet. With Virgin, you can rebook and move the holidays free of charge. But unfortunately, the Sheraton Vistana was our charging us to move our booking. Um, we were kind of aware of this from the last time we tried to move it, but they wavered the fee last time due to us just moving the holiday and still keeping our booking with them. However, this time they have, we, they didn't con Virgin did not contact the Sheraton Vistana to see, to see if they would waver it because technically at the moment, the flights and the holiday are still going ahead. I think if it was out of, at, currently, if we were due to fly away in May, is it? They would have probably cancelled it and then not charged us, maybe? I don't know how that would have happened. But we have rebooked our holiday and we are going in July 2022. Oh my God, that sounds so far away. But anyway, it's all exciting. We're going away in July 2022. We are staying in the Hilton Bonnet Creek. More of the details about that will follow. We'll do a bit more of a um, vlog on that. It's a little bit disappointing that we've had to pay a lot more. Um, our current trip, every time we've booked, so we booked in January, it was a great price for a week. Um, we booked again in August, not so much ex more expensive, just another, well, it was double, but we we're going away for two weeks. This time, I don't want to talk about prices too much, but it is an, a massive increase in price, and that's obviously due to demand and due to the flights. A lot of people are rebooking for 2022, so that's the nature of the business, I'm afraid. Price increases due to the demand. And I'm so disappointed in the Sheraton Vistana and what they have charged us for cancelling their holiday. I have never known a deposit like it. Yeah, coming up to £700 we've lost there for our booking, so that's a party of four. And for Crazy Grandad's booking, just a party of one because we book separately, his is the same price. And he also loses £700. We are going to be emailing them and seeing if there's something else we can do about it. And if there isn't, we certainly will never, ever be booking with them ever again, which is slightly disappointing. Um, nothing Virgin could do about it. I am not having a go at Virgin. Um, it is the terms and conditions of travelling with and booking with the Sheraton Vistana, which is a Hilton property. Is it Hilton? Who is it? Marriott. A Marriott um, resort. Um, but, yeah... We, we will be making a strongly worded email and see where we get. We might not get anywhere, but that is what we're out of pocket for. If we'd have cancelled the holiday altogether, we would still have been out of pocket for that amount of money with them. Virgin wouldn't have cancelled it currently because the, according to them, the flights are still going ahead because obviously it's being reassessed kind of three weekly, monthly. Is it monthly? About monthly with the government weather and we can actually travel and also America have not decided whether we're allowed to travel yet they've not opened the borders to us who knows what's going on we might still be in this situation in a month's time and ha and still not be in a better place the flights could have gone up the price of the holiday could have gone up I am not going to look again I've got a bad habit of looking to see if it'd be cheaper or more expensive I'll try David's giving me really funny looks right now. I do try. Do you think they'd make it cheaper if you re if you looked? She did say it was changeable now because it didn't include the Marriott element. So in theory, you could. So if it was cheaper, we could rebook. You could probably cancel the rebook. We will be looking out for it then, if that's the case. But I'm really excited about the trip. That's super. Have you got a naked Winnie the Pooh now? Yes. Okay. Harry's trying to dress Winnie the Pooh. So. A good day, kind of. Bittersweet, I suppose. I think I've used that phrase on Twitter a couple of times today. It's definitely, definitely bittersweet. Can't wait to find out um, and go. And yeah, really looking, really, really looking forward to that trip now. 
We've got lots of holiday plans booked. Oh, sneak peek um, of an itinerary for August, which I'm really excited about, which we will share with you at a later date. I'm full, but I'm going to go and get a nice cheeky glass of wine and David's doing the ironing. I need to get the kids ready for school. It's quarter past five. What's up with you? Yeah, the weekend's kind of over, but then that's what happens when you ha sleep for half of it yesterday. It's all good. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Look where I found the new Mio's. They're <laughs> stuck to the fridge. Along with our picture from Mr. David and Mr. Ian. <sighs> Spellings. And my grandma and granddad. What are they doing? I'm trying to climb to the very top. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I want them on the fridge, Harry. Hmm? Hmm? Should we get rid of the poo dressed? Yes. Good idea. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Guess what I did yesterday? I forgot to end the vlog. There's a surprise. Um, it's now almost 12 o'clock. Been busy this morning. Obviously, the kids are at school. Get up, school run, go for a run, get changed. Boring, boring. Aldi, etc. So there is absolutely no point taking you with us. Um, I'm just gonna end the vlog because I forgot last night. We didn't do anything exciting, like I said. We watched a bit of telly, we made some more travel plans, we've booked quite a few more um, hotels, which is fantastic, and I will share those details with you on a trip announcement, any excuse for a new vlog. Um, so that's going to be it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this weekend vlog. Sorry it's run over to Monday and then we forgot to end the vlog yesterday. Um, what have we done? Legoland. Sea life. Donuts. Sunday lunch. And books new holiday. Not a bad weekend really. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click, click that like and subscribe button. Leave those comments down below. Don't forget to answer Harry's question. Should he have the Mandalorian or should I keep it for my shelf? I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!